Now to that breaking news. Life in prison and more for Wesley Hadsell in the killing of his stepdaughter, AJ. The case has gone on for seven years from AJ's disappearance to today. She went missing from her home in Norfolk while on spring break from Longwood University. Authorities later found her dead in Southampton County. 10 on your side's Kayla Gaskins has more from court in Franklin on Hadsell's ultimate punishment. It took seven years to get to this point. Justice for AJ Hadsell. Wesley Hadsell, AJ's stepfather, stood stoic as the judge handed down his sentence, life in prison plus 15 years. While the judge handed down the sentence, he did have some pretty choice words for Hadsell. He said that he took a beautiful life and dumped her like a piece of trash in Southampton County, saying it was the most callous, egregious conduct he could envision. Notably missing from the sentencing hearing were AJ's family and friends who did not show up to read any victim impact statements. The Commonwealth said they were so broken hearted they couldn't bring themselves to come. AJ's first stepfather, a man named Zach Hoffer, came with a prepared statement. The defense objected because he doesn't meet the requirements of a victim, and the judge agreed. When asked to step off the stand, Hoffer had to be physically removed from the podium. He lunged at Hadsel saying a slew of expletives and quote, AJ is my daughter, you coward. He started thrashing his arms and it took about five deputies to control him. He is a very big guy around 6'4 or 6'5. He was then led out of the court in handcuffs and could face charges of his own. Hadsel, for his part, sat calmly through the whole proceedings, even when he was given life in prison. The judge also said that Hadzel has earned every day of this life sentence. Hadzel does plan to appeal the verdict and he will keep his same lawyer for the appeal. In Franklin, I'm Kayla Gaskins, 10 on your side.